Oh, Zuko here. Thought I would come back with a book haul to round off the big unhaul I did a couple months ago, which was my last video, which did surprisingly well, honestly. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. These are all the books that I bought in 2021 so far. There's actually surprisingly not that many of them, so. I mean, there's some. Anyway, let's go. First, I have Don't Call the Wolf by Alexandra Ross. I only bought this because I heard it might be a Bobby Yaga story. I haven't read it yet, but yeah, it's very pretty. Next, I have Faith Taking Flight by Julie Murphy. This is a fat girl superhero book. Pretty much the only reason I bought it. I apologize if you can hear the puppy in the background. He's having a tantrum and I'm trying to film around it. Next, I have A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. This is a Black Mermaid book. It's kind of all it took to sell me on this one. Can you tell I'm buying everything just based on like one part of the premise that may or may not be there? Then I have Frankly in Love by David Yoon. I bought this because it has frayed edges. Then I have Six Angry Girls by Adrian Kissner. I'll say about this because of all the cool diverse women on the cover that kind of sold it for me. I believe this is a contemporary story, something about knitting, something about girls. I'm hoping it's queer. So yeah. Then I have A Neon Darkness by Lauren Shippen. I haven't read the Bright Sessions, I think is the first one, but I've almost taken it out of the library a bunch of times and then I saw this one and I was like, I'm gonna buy it. Um, so I'll probably buy the other ones and actually read them. Uh, I think this is queer. That's all I really know about it. Maybe it's superheroes? It says what if the villain of your story is you. I'm hoping it's queer superheroes, but honestly I have no idea. Apparently it's dark. Could be for me then. And I have Seven Endless Forests by April Genevieve Tucholke. I believe this is the sequel to The Boneless Mercies. I think that's the first one's name. And I have that, so I picked up the second one. Next I have The Art of Breaking Things. Mostly I bought this for the cover. I think that it is a straight book, so it's probably not something I'm going to love, but I do love the cover and I think that the, the person on the front is very pretty, so yeah. Oh, this is by Laura Sibson, by the way. Then I bought A Hollow Kingdom by Kira Jane Burton. I think this is a fantasy story told in the perspective of a crow. That's what I believe this is. Maybe I'm thinking of another book. But I bought this. It's got a dog on the cover and a crow on the cover. I like dogs and I like crows, so hopefully I like this book. Then I got Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? Big Questions from Tiny Mortals About Death by Caitlin Doty. This is the third book that Caitlin Doty has written about death. I really enjoyed this book, so I bought a physical copy to go with my physical copy of the other two. Then I got The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. I think this is a sequel series to that one. The Golden Compass? The something? Infernal? No. There's some devices. I don't remember. But yeah, I think this is the sequel series to that. Um, and yeah, I wanted it. I saw it in my local used bookstore. I bought it. And I bought The Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin Elier Sainz. I can never say their last name. This is by the author of Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, I believe. Apparently this was from the dollar store for $3. I bought this at Valley Village. But yeah, I may have paid more for it than the original buyer did. Then I got In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. This book just has such a beautiful cover. This is a queer pirates and prince story. That really intrigued me and the cover really, really sold me on it because it's so pretty. I'm excited. I love queer pirates. Then I have Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Bashardost. This is a, I guess, fairy tale retelling, kind of reimagining of, I think, Sleeping Beauty? But I don't remember. I've read this. It was fine. I bought it because I like the cover. <laughs> um, I think it's also Persian folklore fairy tale inspired as well, which is neat. But yeah, this is queer, by the way. And I have Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. This is supposed to be a like heist, I guess. I've read it. It's not good. <laughs> um, but it's queer. That's all it's got going for it. It really wants to be Six of Crows in like a lot of ways, but handled poorly. <laughs> it's not good. It's just not good. And I have Across the Green Grass Fields by Shauna McGuire. This is the sixth book, I think, in the Wayward Children series. This follows a horse girl who is also intersex, I believe. Um, that's all I can really say, but it was very fun. I enjoyed it. And I have Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. This is the third book in the 
Winter Nights trilogy. I read the first two, I haven't yet picked this one up, but I hope to soon to finish the series. Then I have The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This I believe is a African-inspired fantasy series. This is the first book. The cover is beautiful. I have truly no other idea what it's about, but I saw the cover and I'm like, sold. I have a cat outside my door. Interesting. Then I have Into the Heartless Woods by Joanna Ruth Meyer. I didn't love this. I've already read it. This is a book set in a world where the woods around this, I think, Irish kingdom, Irish inspired kingdom, I guess, is ruled by a witch and the woods is slowly overtaking the rest of the land. And the witch has seven daughters who are all evil and killing everybody. Yeah, this was fine, I guess. I don't recommend picking it up. I'm gonna do a whole review video on some stuff, so. Then I have Wet Big Teeth by Rose Zabo. This cover is also amazing. This is about a girl whose family is werewolves? Wolves? They turn into wolves. I don't know if they're werewolves. And she does not fit in with them because she can't. And eventually there's, there's a mystery and she reaches out to her grandmother to kind of try to find some solidarity because the whole wolf gene is from her grandfather's side of, of the family. So she reaches out to her mother's mother um, because she wants to have someone in the family who isn't so obsessed with their wolfish nature. There's some family mysteries. It's very good. I mean, it's a fine book, but the cover is very good. And the idea is pretty good. Then I have Lost in the Neverwood by Aidan Thomas. This is a Peter Pan retelling. It's modern day, so it's without all the fun stuff. Yep. Then I have This Coven Won't Break by Isabel Sterling. This is the sequel to These Witches Won't Burn. This is another fun, queer, contemporary witch book. So yeah, this was fun. Then I have House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This cover is beautiful. And I actually really enjoyed the book. This is a book about three girls who, when they were very small children, they went missing, just out of thin air. And when they came back, they were different. And just there's a bunch of family mystery. It's very fun. It's got a very spooky vibe. And it's it's just, it was my kind of book and I loved it. So I know this isn't a review. This is a haul, but I'm letting you know. Then I have Network Effect and Fugitive Telemetry. This is the first novel and the fifth novella in the Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. Currently reading this. This one comes after, so clearly haven't started it. I love the Murderbot Diaries. I just reread all of the novellas and I just, to get to this one, and they're just so good. I recommend the Murderbot Diaries for the record. And lastly, for the books that I physically have here, I have Lycanthropy and Other Chronic Illnesses by Kristen O'Neill. I liked the yellow cover. I'm sad that it's not a yellow spine because I'm running out of yellow books. Um, but yeah, I believe this is about lycanthropy kind of being treated as a chronic illness. I don't know. Oh yeah, I also have, I think three books on their way. They're supposed to, they were supposed to come Friday, but apparently they're coming Tuesday. Um, I don't know when I'm posting this, but yeah, there is, um, The Anthropocene Review by John Gringan. That is a, his first nonfiction book, uh, based on a podcast by the same name. I haven't listened to the podcast, but yeah. And there is You Will Get Through This Night, I believe is what it's called, by Dan Howell. That is a self-help book by Dan Howell, the YouTuber. Hopefully it's not a bad YouTuber book. And then there is something else that I will post here. You can see it. This is a book. Do I remember what the book is about? No. Do, oh, it might be impossible. The The next book in the Dreamers, the Maggie Steve Otter <laughs> sequel series to... What's it called? The Raven Boys. Raven Cycle. That one. It's the second book in the sequel series to that. So yeah, those are all of the books that I have bought in 2021. We're like halfway through. I feel like I did a pretty good job. Um, and I'm very surprised that you haven't heard barking through this entire video. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you whenever I do my next video. Next I have Faith Takes Some Flight by Next, I have Faith Taking Flight by...
apologize if you can hear the puppy in the background. I apologize if you can hear the puppy in the background. He's having a full ass tantrum and I can't do anything about it. 